Okay, hello dear friends. Let's do some math problem. A man travels, oh no, number three, a man travels three kilometer north, two kilometer east, three kilometer north, and four kilometer east. How far is he from the starting, starting point? So when we see this kind of problem, the first thing to draw a diagram. So we suppose he is starting from the origin. Okay, this is the starting point where this man starts. And one friend suggests me to draw by. Uh, okay, I will not spend that much time. To do it. I'm not so much that kind of person. But anyway, uh, <clears throat> so the paper is not flat. So we have uh, the starting point. He started from here north, south, west, east. So the first thing he goes north one mile and then travel one mile a uh, one kilometer north two kilometer east jing 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 to the east two kilometer east and then three kilometer north one two three kilometer north and then four kilometer east one two, three, four. So he finally he reaches to this new point and here is a four kilometer. Now we want to know the distance, the distance from here to here, how far he is starting. So we can <clears throat> understand the distance from his final point to this uh, <clears throat> X exit, this X exit is our imaginary uh, imaginary plan. There is not such a real such plan in the in land written like this or drawn like this. And two and four makes this six e r So this lens is six. Now I write it down six and this lens is one. And three is four. One, two, three, four. And we want to know this. This is a um, <clears throat> this is a straight angle triangle. So uh, according to Pythagorean theorem, the square of uh, of the two sides equal to the square of hypotenuse. So. The lens square of the new lens, lens square equals 4 square plus 6 square equals 16 plus 36 equal 52. So L equal to square root of 52 equal to 2 times square root of 13. So this is the lens. So the lens is 2 and 2 times square root of 13 kilometer from the the original point. Okay, question number 5. The hypotenuse of a right triangle is 17 and one leg is 15. Find the area of the triangle. What theorem did you use? And it's pretty sure that we use the theorem of Pythagorean theorem. So now let's draw a picture of it. We have a straight triangle and we know one 
side is 17, the hypotenuse is 17, and one side is 15, here is 15, and hypotenuse is 17, and what is this length? So the square root of the side, square root of the side, equal to 17 square. So the, the square of, uh, <coughs> of the side equal to 17 square minus 15 square equal to 17乘七七零二八九减去二二五。I think you already remember it by your heart, right? Seventeen, the power of, uh, the power of uh, any number within twenty. Within twenty, you should remember, right? Okay, it's equal to sixty-four, right? So the side is eight. Now we figure out this side is eight. And uh, the <clears throat> the area of the triangle is the base times height because this is uh, uh, 90 degrees, so they are perpendicular to each other. So the area of the triangle is half of 15 times 8 equal to 60, that is the answer. The area is the 60, is 60. Okay, 27. In triangle MOQ, MO is perpendicular to OQ, and MO equal to OP equal to 1. Okay, I will use this sharper one to, to do this. MO equal to OP equal to 1 and MP equal to PQ. Find MQ and find the measure of Q and measure of Q M O. Once we find the measure of uh, of angle Q, we can find all the other angle because it's uh, perpendicular. Okay, let's do it. This we may need to use some of the <coughs> the real measurement. First, let's draw a picture of it in the triangle. This is one, one, and around here. Uh oh, sorry. It's better that I just honestly use the ruler to do it. Okay, I draw it here. And one, I draw it large. One. This is O M. Another line So we know O M O and O P is the same is one. Uh, M O and O P is one. 
MO is perpendicular to OQ. Oh, can you see it? I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Distance is 1, 1. We know this is a, <coughs> uh, this is a, a straight angle triangle. So here, according to Pythagorean, the square of 1 plus square of 1 is the square of uh, MP. So this is square root of 2. And we know this one is square root of 2. This one is a square root of 2. And we do not know this, right? But we know <coughs> in this triangle, M, O, Q, in triangle, in triangle, M, O, Q, uh oh, I, I better write in a stronger color, okay? In triangle M, O, Q, we know M, O equal to 1, O, Q, O, Q, oh, this is a lens, lens, O, Q equal to 1 plus square root of 2, and then M, Q, M, Q, square equal to M O square plus O Q square equal to 1 square <coughs> is square plus 1 plus square root of 2 square equal 1 plus 1 plus 2 square root of 2 plus 2 equal 4 plus 1, 2, 3, 4 plus 1, 2, 3, 4, 4 plus 2 square root uh -oh, of 2. So this is the length. MQ is 4 plus 2 plus 4 plus 2 square root of 2. And the angle sine, let's do it, sine Oh, yeah, and we can know this one is 45 degree, 45 degree, this one is 45 degree, right, because in the triangle one is 90 degree and the other two is the same, this one is 45 and this one is 45. So what do we know? No, this one is 135 degree, right? <clears throat> 135 degree and this MP equal to PQ. So PMQ equal to MQP. They are both the left over from 180 minus 135 divided by 2. So, <clears throat> what do we want to know? Q M O Q M. We we said we we first know. Jiao Q equal to 180 degree minus 135 degree divided 
by 2 equal to 20. Let's do it slowly. 45 degree divided by 2 equal to 22.5 degree. And we want to know what? What do we want to know? We want to know the measure of Q and the measure of OMQ. OMQ is 45 degree. Oh, oh, sorry. <laughs> OMQ is 45 degree plus the angle, the measure of of Q. So, jiao measure measure O M Q equal to 45 degree plus 25.5 degree equal 67.5 degree. Okay. We solve this one.